Have you ever thought to yourself, man, I'd like to host my own podcast? Well, guess what? You can go to podbean.com slash voices and get everything you need to create, manage, and promote your podcast. I use Podbean every week for voices in my head. There's easy uploading and publishing tools, stunning templates, custom domains, social and promotional tools, an embeddable podcast player, monetization tools, and more. It is your all-in-one podcasting solution. With Podbean, you can create professional podcasts in minutes without any programming knowledge. Best of all, everything is mobile-ready right from the start. So go to podbean.com slash voices. And when you sign up, use the code VOICES and you'll get a sizable discount. Podbean for your home podcasting. Thank you for listening to Voices in My Head. Welcome to Voices in My Head, the official podcast of me, Rick Lee James. I'm a recording artist, a singer, songwriter, an author, a worship leader, and an ordained minister in the Church of the Nazarene. The Voices in My Head podcast is your source for discussions on music, literature, movies, pop culture, theology, and more. Now sit back, relax, and listen to the latest episode of the Voices in My Head podcast. And don't forget to let the voices in your head be heard by following me on Twitter at Rick Lee James and sharing your thoughts about today's show. Welcome back to the Voices in My Head podcast. As always, I am your host, Rick Lee James, and this is a very special podcast today because we have one of the greatest, in my opinion, singers and songwriters around today, Jeremy Casella. Jeremy has been touring and songwriting as both a recording artist and just a touring singer-songwriter, and he's worked with acts such as Cademan's Call and Phil Keggy, he's had an album that even featured the Blind Boys of Alabama, and he's done a lot more since then, and if I went on and on, I could probably tell you everything he's done over the years, but he's an incredibly talented guy, a very humble person, and a new friend, and I'm very excited to be able to talk to you a little bit today about his album that is almost at the uh, at the completed point on Kickstarter called Spirit, and we're hoping that today we're going to get enough backers to, to finish out his goal of $19,500 to make this new studio album called Spirit. So, Jeremy Casella, welcome to the Voices in My Head podcast. Thank you so much, man, for having me on. It's uh, truly a humbling joy, and I'm, I'm so glad to talk with you, man, and to get to connect with you. Well, thank you. It's a real honor uh, to be able to have you on the show today. I tell people when I try to describe your music to them, I say, well, he's got just one of the most unique and incredible voices. If I had to describe his voice, I think I would say um, that that Brian Adams and Bono had a baby, and this was the vocalist that came out of that <laughs> combination. <laughs> yeah. It's it really you, you just you've been blessed with such a strong uh, voice and and your talent and even your story, just kind of walking you watching you walk um, in your journey with God over the years through some highs and some lows as uh, as an artist. And um, even though you're you're new to me as connecting as a friend. Um, you're actually somebody that for a while I've been following and um, one night a few years ago and and I think you remember this night I didn't actually get to meet you that evening because I had to leave early but there's something in Nashville called Local Show and it meets in a little coffee house uh, in Nashville and you were playing along with if memory serves it was uh, uh, Andy Gullihorn and Jill Phillips and Andrew Osenga and Mm -hmm. you and all of you just did such a wonderful set that night and it was a packed house. I, I think all of the tickets had sold out and was there with some other friends of mine like Nick Flora and different people and it, it was just a, a fun night. So I've been a fan since then. So oh, that's um, awesome. I remember that show, man. It was a lot of fun. I, I think that was the night we ended the show with um, all four of us doing um, Calling Out Your Name, the Rich Mullins uh, team. You know, if that's wow. a different show, I'm pretty sure that was that show. But. Well, you know what? I couldn't tell you because I was I was teaching a class at Trevecca University that week, and I had to leave a little bit early because I had to get up early for class the next day. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. But I saw most of it. But you could have very well done that, and I'm sure you did. <laughs> uh, but I missed the very end of it, which is why I didn't get to say hello. Well, here's but, what's crazy. I have a video of it, and I'll send it to you. <laughs> oh, that would be great. I'd yeah, love to like, see it. Jill and Andy, I went to college with them. We've been friends forever. And then Osenga, the same thing, just 
um, old friends. So singing that song with them was special. And I think Pete Peterson recorded a video of it, and I have it. So I'll, I'll have oh, to email it. Oh, that's great. Well, we, you know, we had Andrew Osenga on here just like two podcasts ago, and he was just starting his Kickstarter. And I know, I, I know what a slog that can be at times. I'm in the middle of one myself right now, yeah. as you know. And you're almost to the completed point for this new album, Spirit. I'd love for you to just tell people what you'd like them to know about Spirit today, and then I want them to go to Kickstarter and look it up and support it. Well, thanks, man. Um, so Spirit is a record. It's going to be uh, 10 songs on it, uh, very acoustic um, and, and kind of bare, pretty stripped down. Uh, it'll have acoustic guitar, vocal, piano or vocal, um, kind of the, being the core of each tune. Uh, and then there'll be a string quartet and a, um, a French horn or two thrown in around um, about maybe 50 or 60 percent of the of the songs on the record. The idea of the album, at least musically, is just to keep things super bare so that um, the focus is really just on the the guitar or the, the piano parts, the melody that comes with just the simplicity of a of a soul and a song, you know, a, a melody and a lyric, my voice and an instrument. And it really kind of came out of an idea I had touring a ton last fall and last summer. I, I did more shows last year than I've ever played in, in almost 20 years of touring. And you know, I go out and I perform solo, and so I thought, man, why don't I make a record with this whole world in mind? In other words, writing a bunch of songs and and, and making sure that um, that are built for exactly what I do live. And so um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in and record these tunes mostly as performances, and then Ben Shive and Casey and Cooley are going to work with me on fleshing them out uh, with some strings and some other kind of light textures. It's not to say there won't be any drums or bass on the record. There, there will be, but it's not going to, not going to be um, anything like my previous records, which just have so many layers of sound going on. Um, you know, so I'm really excited about it. Um, and it's kind of challenging because, you know, for me as an artist and a songwriter, you know, it's easy to hide behind a synth pad or like a drum groove or whatever. With this, it's it's going to be my voice and the instrument and the song. And that's, there you go. And my prayer is that the vulnerability of that um, and the honesty of that is really useful for God to maybe, you know, soften my heart and the hearts of listeners with his love for us, um, which is kind of the main theme that he's very near. Um, so the Holy Spirit, really. I call the record spirit, but um, that's the that's kind of the um, that's kind of the goal. So that's the well, thirty thousand foot view. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. Well, we're really looking forward to that, and I, I want to just encourage everybody listening: go to Kickstarter, look up "Spirit" by Jeremy Casella, and help him finish funding this. I, I for one, really want to hear this. So uh, let's uh, <laughs> let's get this funded as quick as possible as we can. But along that lines, isn't it just a cool thing? Um, to know that, that people care that much about your music, that they really are supporting it. I mean, it's it's no small feat to raise the amount that you are raising for this album, and it seems like people uh, are just more than willing to step up to the challenge at this point. And in these last nine days, um, you know, I mean, I, I, I'm just, I, I love it. I love when people, in this age where it seems like everybody only wants free music, it tells me that people are really invested in what you do, that they are um, putting their hard-earned money into that. Yeah, that's an incredibly humbling thing, you know, and I, I think as an artist these days, and you know this, especially musicians, if you're out there making a living, you know, full-time as a performing artist and a singer and a songwriter and, you know, recording artist, you've got to have that direct support and connection with, you know, technically fans, but I really consider them friends because it's sure. um, it's such a personal connection. And so, you know, yes, I'm super encouraged by the response, but at the same time, it's a terrifying thing to launch a campaign and put yourself out there. You just kind of go, what's going to happen? I don't know. In that video that Andy and I made the other day where yeah. we're talking about how like, when you're in this place, you wonder, does anybody love me? It's like, it's <laughs> funny, but it's funny because it's completely true. And um, you just never know, you know, how how things are going to shake out. And that's part of the thrill. But yeah, yeah. I am super thankful um, and, uh, yeah. you know, excited about 
this new project. Um, wow. And I'm also aware of how how fragile everything is uh, yeah. with this with this work and but i'm grateful for it too so you try to hold loosely you know oh definitely just, yeah yeah well i i think we're i think you're gonna make it i'm i'm hoping and praying for that well, thank you like you're, yeah. you're so close and i i mean i almost i almost want to go just like everybody if if you got you know uh, if everybody who is his friends on Facebook and follows him on Twitter, if you just even go put like five bucks in, you'll do it. You know, I mean, it's it's amazing how fast it adds up when people do it. But you yeah. can also give much more than that because you have some great perks that you're offering. Everything from the CD when it comes out to T-shirts to uh, I'm trying to look through your list right now here of the different things you have. You have posters that you get. So. Um, you, it's, it's actually pr a pretty cool thing that people don't just get the music or, or they're not just giving money. They're actually getting something in return for it. There's things like handwritten yeah. lyrics and what are some of your favorite pledges oh, that you have? Well, my, my two favorites, one of them is, a um, yeah, you're trying to incentivize people to not only support the record, but here, okay, here's some cool stuff. So in other words, this isn't charity, you know, it's, it's pledging, it's sponsorship, it's getting on board. Uh, on this project and you get things for getting on board and so other than the music which is really a cool thing but you get other things two of my favorite things are number one there's a uh, a concert here we're having on November 19th um, sorry November 17th next fall which is a Saturday uh, here at my house with me and Andrew Osenga and the string quartet we're gonna um, play the entire album the spirit record from beginning to end in my living room for 30 people um, and then mm -hmm. before that concert, um, and then Andy, Andy Osinga is going to play a lot of the songs from The Painted Desert, and his album mm -hmm. will be available, and all my, my record will be available. But it'll be a house show at my house. But before that, I'm making dinner for everybody. Um, awesome. So, yeah, which is a little crazy because um, we have a pretty big house, but not, not a huge house. So we're kind of like, <laughs> hey, let's go for it, you know. And So there's only four, four slots left um, uh, for that, and that's sold really well. I'm really excited about it. And more than anything, it's just an opportunity to open our home and say, this is our world, you know, mm -hmm. thank you for supporting this music, and hey, here's some dinner, and, and come sit in my living room, I'm going to play all these songs and just sure. share from my heart, you know, and get to meet my family and have my family kind of meet the people who are supporting what um, what we do, you know, um, yeah. really believe in as this work. Um, and then the other project I think is cool, the other, the other little perk I think is really cool is... Um, because I'm a nerd, I love music stuff. <laughs> sure. uh, Hatch uh, Hatch Showprint is this really cool poster company here in Nashville that's been in business since the late 1800s, and mm. they make these custom letterpress posters. Um, they're pretty expensive to make because they're custom, and so um, I'm commissioning them to make one for the release of the record when it comes out. And so when you kickstart the album at various levels you get this poster too and i funny it's funny like i'm really excited about this poster i don't know why like i'm probably a little <laughs> more excited than i should be but yeah you know you just get excited about that kind of stuff so yeah, yeah. well the hat show makes incredible posters they do well, man they do well we are going to uh close out our podcast now because we're about to do um it'll be in the past by the time people hear this but we're about to do a facebook live video conversation so what cool. i'm going to do is we're going to end this recording now and i'm going to close out the show by playing one of your songs from death in reverse your your uh your most recent album up up till now and uh so i'm 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 really excited to have you on the show today i just want to encourage everybody one more time go to kickstarter look up spirit by Jeremy Casella, and you are not going to regret it. And if you can, gosh, uh, you really should try to go for that concert. And if for nothing else, go for the meal. I mean, come on. <laughs> it's great stuff. So, Well, Jeremy Casella, thank you for being one of the voices in my head this week. Hey, thanks, Rick.
Thank you for joining me here this week on the Voices in My Head podcast. I hope you'll visit me on my website at rickleyjames.com. Follow me on Twitter at rickleyjames. Like my artist page on Facebook at facebook.com slash rickleyjames. And keep up to date on what I'm writing at my author page on amazon.com. Make sure to follow my calendar on the website, and if you would like to have me come to your town to do a concert, a speaking engagement, or a book event, you can book me through my website by clicking on the link for Pair Booking Agency. That's P-A-R-E Booking. And finally, it would mean the world to me if you were to leave me a review of this podcast on iTunes. The more positive reviews that we receive, the more visible this podcast is on the internet. And now the benediction. May the God of peace who raised Christ from the dead, strengthen your inner being for every good work. And may the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit rest upon you and dwell within you this day and forevermore. Amen.